Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of the G-Tang uh, Mini Quadcopter. This is the T906W model. Uh, this is a wireless uh, FPV uh, Mini Quad and uh, this works without a transmitter. Out of the box you can control it with your smartphone. Uh, it's similar with some other models like the Cheerson uh, CX10 but uh, this comes in a uh, odd shape it's like a small uh, barrel with uh, motors it looks uh, kind of uh, fat but it's uh, very light and um, I really like uh, the plastics they have uh, used on it it's uh, kind of uh, flexible but resistant it's uh, not that plastic uh, that will uh, uh, simply crack on uh, the first uh, uh, time you drop this or you hit a wall, so it's uh, kind of uh, crash resistant due to its uh, flexibility. Here you can see the small uh, camera, and this is the Wi Fi antenna that uh, comes out of it. On uh, this side, here it has the power on off switch and the charging port you can see underneath. In the box, you are going to get a typical USB charger. like this transparent it has the uh, LED inside which lights up when it's charging and of course a set of uh, spare propellers it also comes with a small manual which is in English and explains uh, some of the things needed it also shows the application the application can be downloaded using the QR code and I believe it's also available on uh, the market so I'm going to install that and uh, see how it goes further. And I have the application just here, the G-Tank. And I'm going to select VGA resolution because this is not HD. And you can see I already have live video from it. And uh, it uh, works uh, relatively okay. Uh, you should expect some uh, uh, lag from uh, this kind of uh, wireless FPV but uh, it's okay for a uh, first time uh, small quad or indoor quad uh, you can uh, take some uh, videos with it even some photos so that should be okay right the controls looks just like on a regular transmitter and uh, you can arm the motors with the application just like a, a larger quad like command combination switch and you can see it has motors running now and you can also disable the motors in flight uh, if you leave it idling for a longer period of time it will turn off automatically to save power and avoid accidents of course this has altitude hold so you just use the throttle up a bit it will go up and if you let go it will keep that and it keeps the altitude pretty well. The application has uh, usual stuff. It has gravity mode where you can control it by uh, tilting the phone. Uh, you can reverse the image. And you have some settings here for calibrating gyro, selecting rates, so the usual stuff. What's interesting about uh, this uh, mini quad is uh, the fact that uh, you can buy an uh, optional transmitter to control it. Uh, I'm going to include the links for the mini quad and the transmitter uh, in the video information below. Uh, the transmitter is uh, relatively cheap and uh, it's very useful because you are going to have much better control than using uh, the screen of your mobile phone. And uh, it also acts as a holder for your phone and I'm going to show you. So this is the transmitter, it has usual sticks, it has some trimming buttons, it has some top buttons here. Uh, I don't know yet what each button does, but uh, I'm going to soon find out. And you can do this transformation like this. This is the power on off switch and here you can put a relatively large mobile phone. This is a 5.5 inch screen phone and you can see it fits just fine here. And you can use the screen as a FPV monitor and control this using the sticks which is much better than uh, using a regular uh, uh, phone control for uh, this type of uh, quadcopter.
let's see how this works so I'm going to power on uh, the quad again and I'm going to power on the transmitter and throttle up throttle down will make a connection to it and you can start the motors like that you can turn off the motors like that let's see if uh, I can open the application I haven't uh, connected the uh, Wi-Fi so I'm going to choose it okay and connect it to it and I have image so video streaming is working and I also have control from uh, the transmitter which is uh, perfect and uh, you can also disable the on-screen uh, commands so you have full screen without indicators on that you can start recording from here and fly from the transmitter which is just perfect so I'm going to do a maiden indoor flight with it soon and upload it in a few days until then bye bye